Monday, October 7th, 2019, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So we're still in Florence, of course. This is our last full day. Tomorrow we are uh, flying back home to London. Uh, looking forward to see Billy. I'm sure you guys as well. This is a photo of Billy uh, while we've been away. My uh, daughter and her boyfriend took him to the park. So there you can see Billy in the park near our house. Uh, so, is the banking system safe? Uh, there's so much going on uh, as it pertains to the repo market, uh, the fact that the Fed has now extended it uh, till November, beginning of November. Uh, in the beginning, it was just a few uh, operations to try to calm things down in the middle of September. Then they said, we're going to extend it to October 10th. Um, and uh, what's it going to do with the uh, banking uh, system? Well, the primary dealers with the Federal Reserve, uh, the major Wall Street uh, banks, major international banks, they're the ones involved in the repo market. Uh, repo market is a way to fund their uh, overnight operations so they can keep lending uh, to their clients, keep uh, the credit system going for the world economy, so there is something wrong there. Uh, it seems to me that no one really knows what's going on. Uh, I've just read an article about a Fed official basically saying he's not too sure either. But all we know uh, is that uh, these banks <laughs> are having to be uh, kind of kept going by the Federal Reserve. Uh, there's also news that uh, HSBC, uh, the biggest uh, British bank, uh, is to ax up to 10,000 jobs in cost-cutting drive. What's that got to do with the repo? Well, uh, HSBC is one of the primary dealers uh, with the Federal Reserve. Am I saying the trouble is with HSBC? No, but uh, if the, the economy around the world is doing so well, if the US economy is doing so well, if the UK economy is doing well, uh, why are banks uh, cutting? Uh, staff, right? Uh, this shows that uh, banks are too leveraged uh, and uh, that nothing has changed since the 08 crisis. All the banking reforms, uh, we didn't see too many, but uh, the Volcker rule, uh, I've seen that a lot of regulations have been taken away from the banking system. The Dot Frank uh, bill didn't really help things. Banks are still uh, doing their thing. Uh, the derivatives market is still there, <laughs> probably worth more than a quadrillion in uh, notional terms. Uh, derivatives, of course, are kept off balance sheets, so we don't even know what's going on. Uh, and they're over the counter, most of them. They're not, uh, there are exchange traded derivatives, but most of these big banks, they do it uh, over the counter. So there's no, uh, how can I say, transparency, right? So, I've been seeing um, uh, videos and comments from viewers about Bix Weir. <laughs> He's saying that uh, some remote viewers are predicting or forecasting a bank banking collapse on October 14th. Uh, do I care about that? Uh, maybe uh, for the bigger picture is not great, but for you individually, if you've been uh, doing what I've been doing, and I'm not advising people to do anything, I'm just saying what I do, and what I do is to try to deal with these banks as little as possible, to, uh, to keep just enough money in there uh, to pay your bills in the UK where I live. Uh, a lot of our bills are direct debit, uh, so the utility company, uh, insurance company, they take the, uh, uh, they take the payment uh, at the beginning of the month or whenever you set it for and it comes out of your bank account so that's the kind of thing uh, that's the kind of thing that uh, I do I keep just enough money in there so my bills are paid but apart from that of course I try to uh, get out of uh, I've, well I've gotten out of that as much as possible uh, basically to zero I would say uh, I try to um, live within my, my means uh, because that won't put you into that right and I try to uh, save in precious metals or other tangible goods, whatever suits your uh, preferences, right? Precious metals though, gold and silver, 
are, uh, in my opinion, the best kind of uh, monetary saving. What do I be mean by monetary saving? Well, it's saving uh, that is liquid, that if there is a banking crisis and the uh, banking system uh, closes down, you can still use that for payment. Uh, what about cryptocurrencies? Well, cryptocurrencies will probably do well, but uh, the problem with cryptocurrencies is that uh, they're still linked to the banking system. You still have to sell uh, Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies into fiat to spend it. And a lot of times that's done through a, a card, right? A debit or prepaid card. With gold and silver, especially small uh, junk silver, as they call it, 1964 and before silver coins, people might accept that. Uh, you might be able to also uh, sell it for people uh, who have cash. It's acceptable everywhere around the world. So it, as for the bigger picture, if there is a, a problem with the banks and it gets worse and there's a banking collapse, uh, it will affect the whole economy because big corporations all around the world need to keep a lot of cash in the bank. And a lot of times it's over that uh, insurance threshold. In the UK, it's 85,000 pounds. In the US, it's 250,000 pounds, right? So, yeah, it could affect the whole economy uh, massively. Um, so, what do I think about this forecast of October 14th? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. I don't like to uh, make these kind of forecasts. But uh, all I'm trying to say, I don't think it's... Uh, even if it were to happen, I wouldn't be concerned. Uh, of course, I would be concerned if I had a lot of uh, my uh, savings in the stock market, a lot of my savings with the banks. I would be concerned about that if I had uh, paper assets. But um, anyway, uh, let's look at where the markets are this morning. Of course, on Friday, um, I think uh, the... Uh, Non-farm payroll number was well uh, orchestrated for the markets. And what do I mean by, by that? Well, I think it was, these people can tweak the number, right? In order to uh, suit their goals. And who, who do I mean by these people? Well, the people who run uh, the Federal Reserve, the people who run, run the Treasury, basically the President's Working Group uh, on Financial Markets, or PPT. Uh, they could meet before and say, oh, what do we need to have a really good number uh, and to show that the economy is doing well, but at the same time that the, uh, allow the Fed to cut rates? Well, <laughs> they got the perfect number for that. Uh, the non-farm payroll was slightly lower than expectations, around 136,000. I think it was expected 140,000. The unemployment rate uh, was expected, I think, at 3.7, and it surprised on the downside. It came out at 3.5%. So people can say now we have the lowest unemployment in 50 years, in spite of the fact that almost 100 million uh, Americans are out of the workforce, right? They don't mention that. Uh, and then you get the, uh, the part that helps the Fed, which is the average hourly earnings. That was expected to rise 0.3% it rose by zero, so it gives the Fed a bit of uh, an excuse uh, to cut rates. Uh, even though we're, of course, as I've said many times, uh, lowest unemployment in 50 years, best economy ever, as some would say. And then at the end of the day, the Fed announced as well that they're going to extend these repos <laughs> till November. So this is starting to feel, and I've said that before in another video, it's starting to feel a little bit like uh, 07, where we started seeing the cracks in the subprime, and it took until one year later for that everything to implode, of course, with the Lehman collapse. Uh, it feels a little bit like that, the, the problem starting in the repo market. Am I saying it's going to take another year? I don't know. It could uh, take two. It could take a, a month. Who knows? <laughs> it's difficult to predict these things. Not even Fed officials seem to know what's going on. So yeah, the stock market did very well on Friday. It rose 372 points. The Dow, 1.4%. So did the S&P. Uh, so this morning, Things have changed a little bit. 
uh, we're seeing uh, the kabuki theater of politics in the US. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that. It's uh, divide and conquer, right? Same thing in the UK with Brexit. But uh, yeah, this morning the Dow is down 135 as I speak here. It's uh, 10 past nine Florence time, which is uh, six hours ahead of Eastern uh, time in the US. So we're down half a percent uh, in the stock market. S&P is down 14, 29.37. NASDAQ 100 future is down 36. Precious metals, uh, spot gold is up uh, just, well, up three, $3 right now, 15.0750. Range has been 15.04 to 15.13. Uh, silver is up two cents at 17.56. Uh, range has been 17.49 to 17.66. So uh, I still think we're consolidating in the, in the gold, uh, gold and silver market, precious metals and that the next move will be higher. We could see still a lot of volatility to the upside and downside at the moment, but it just doesn't feel like we have any uh, sense of direction either way. I know we've corrected quite a bit lately, but we've also come back up. Uh, currencies, uh, sterling is down 0.2 of a percent against the dollar at 123.09. Euro is unchanged, 109.83. Dollars down slightly against the yen, 106.81. Uh, dollars up a quarter of a percent against the Chinese currency at 712.88. Uh, WTI crude and Brent crude are virtually unchanged this morning. Uh, WTI 52.80, uh, Brent 58.14. Uh, to finish off, quick look at the bond market. 10-year yield is at 151, it's down slightly, less than a basis point. The two-year is down one basis point at 139. So yeah, the curve is continuing to drop in yields across the board are dropping uh, normally <laughs> in the past. If you had had uh, a day like we had on Friday in the stock market, stock market going up, right, yields would usually rise because that means that uh, people are not concerned people are going to risk your assets but no on friday treasury yields dropped as people bought treasuries uh, which doesn't make sense which shows me that there's something wrong out there so let's keep an eye on things see uh, how the markets evolve over the next few days uh, if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button don't forget also to uh, share this video far and wide. It helps to get more viewers, more subscribers. Uh, if you are uh, not a subscriber yet, think about subscribing. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Steemit, and on DTube. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.